Bitcoin has dropped down to the biggest support level in the world right now. If you have been paying attention to my content over the past few months, you will know I absolutely love this support. And in this very video, I'll be talking you through the level that we've hit and how I'm expecting the price action in terms of trade setups to play out over the next you know, week and a half, two weeks. So we're looking at a little bit more of the medium term time frame. And in this video, I'll be going over all that you need to know for those upcoming trades and continuation of our profits. So you'll be very much aware too, if you've been paying attention that I've not done a video here on YouTube for nearly two weeks. And that is because we have had our Dubai. This is the celebration time. I want to show you the back. DC Paul, <laughs> we've had our Dubai event, of course, and this has been nothing short of outstanding. It's been a lovely time that we've spent over the uh, past week in Dubai with some chart champion members here, loving the uh, little CCs. Uh, but yeah, just sharing with you a few photos from the event here. Uh, we had a, a, a gala awards evening, then some trading days. It's been absolutely wonderful to, you know, see returning faces and meet a load of bunch of new people too. It's uh it has been a, a very heartwarming event and f yeah, absolutely wonderful. But if you are wondering where we've been, that's what we've been up to at the Chart Champions five year anniversary event that we put together and hosted in Dubai. Of course, if you wanted content during that time, we have been continuing doing those live streams. As you can see, <laughs> live streams galore. But nevertheless, for here on YouTube, it had taken a little bit of a break as we done that event. But now we are back. The event is over and we can get back to the charts as normal. So as I mentioned at the start of this video, who has been paying attention? What have I been saying is the biggest and easiest trading support level in the world right now. It can act as support and resistance. And I hope you've been paying attention because it is the anchored VWAP. So we're actually looking at the anchored VWAP off of this last move of the uptrend from the 6th of September. Well, first of all, you can see what we did bounce off of. So this is now tapped, but we did have a daily naked point of control at $60,412. That level is now tapped, so it can be removed. But just for your information, that there was a daily naked point of control there, which holded with a wick before retest obviously another bounce to the upside. I will remove that though. And, you know, because for me, that is now a tap level. But what I'm classing as the biggest support, and again, this is a little bit of a zone, but we actually take this from the uptrends and this is our anchored view up uptrends. We came and pulled back into this zone. So every time we've come into it, we can see it has acted very nice as support. Originally, quick wick through, bounce. Wick onto it, bounce. Here, ever so slight front run. Here, very similar to this bit of price action, one wick, one uh, candle close through, bounce, retest, and then another subsequent bounce to the upside, as you can see here on the lower term time frame. Uh, still overall holding up that zone of support and i you know i i i have to say you can never lose your doubt overall on this level it is just a very big important level but it's not to be viewed as here as a what i would class as the golden support in terms of we are definitely holding this support and from here it's upwards towards sixty seven thousand dollars. we have a lot to get through and that's what i want to talk to you First of all, in terms of the resistance, so there's a few things actually that I do not like about the support that we've uh, put in here on the first of the month. First of all, and it's a pretty simple one, and that is that we slightly front run 60,000 for giving us $60,000. So I always am a little bit cautious when we slightly front run these big psychological levels. And you can see here just over $100 as we bottomed out at $60,102. That's a you know, front run on the Coinbase CME here on Bybit. Across the board, 60,000 ever so slightly missed. And that's not necessarily to say that well, we have to drop through 60,000. But for me, that is what I class as a, a big level of liquidity. So when we see those psychological numbers, I, as a trader, do prefer to see it wicked through than ever so slightly front run. As you know for, for a fact, right, people will have been building up their long trades. And don't get me wrong, I absolutely understand that and cannot deny that we were at a support level, but I would have just loved to have seen that wick through. So I'll explain what I'm thinking about here. But nevertheless, of course, you had this little bit of a back test holding up the higher low and your invalidation. What a lot of people will be using is simply below $60,000. So you have this relatively low risk trade. And again, if you are expecting this move up to $67,000 plus, we have a pretty Pretty epic trade setup right there. 
off of the daily naked point of control, holding a higher low into the zone of the anchored VWAP. And this is what people have been building. This is the long that they'll be going for with their targets and stop loss just below 60,000. So myself as a trader, I'm very much aware of this draw now towards 60,000. It's a very, very big, interesting level. So what would I like to see and where is that invalidation? So first of all, I will talk about the resistance. So this is important because if we actually see the resistance that I'm going to talk through flipped into support, that then I would say is very bullish and there's no immediate rush to take out 60,000. So there's a few ways that we're going to look at this together. First of all, we're going to pull the, uh, pull the fixed range from where we were viewing the range originally to around the 19th of September, right? We had this range low, which was tested several times before we formed the failed auction of the high before coming back in and a, an extreme move to the downside, right? And so just so you can see what's going on here, we've currently got the old support flipping on the lower term time frame here into resistance. So if I just zoom out here so it loads, you can see how we just had a pretty nice touch of that flipping into resistance. So I would always though view this as a little bit of a zone. We got two fold going on here, okay? So in my opinion, a few very important levels that we should be aware of. First of all, the overall, just as we bounced off of the uptrend anchored VWAP zone, right? We should now be aware of the downtrend anchored VWAP. You can see that's actually coming in at this range or previous range point of control. So there is a big resistance there, what we can say at $63,500. You can all see that, I hope you can, because it is the anchored VWAP of the downtrend and it is the point of control of the range. Okay, sign of strength, of course, is going to be flipping this value area low into support. That's also an old support, currently flipped to resistance. But if price can actually go on and reclaim this to support, well, we have to contend with that anchored VWAP downtrend on the point of control. But that would be our first sign of strength, right? Because then it takes exact same here. Currently, we've formed support into resistance but if price can get through and flip that into support we need to then move on to the point of control and do that once again flip into support and then that original long trade setup that i showed you right that people are going for with their entries around here stop loss below the low targets up at 67k you know is very 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 high probability and nice trade setup but this is the way I work as you know a professional trader that does this day in day out and that is I have to say that there's no reason for me to think that this rally at the moment is going to be sustainable while, first of all, we are below the value area low. But second of all, while we're still below this anchored VWAP of now the downtrend, especially as it sits on that point of control. That's just a, some, it's just a level of confluence that I love. This is a trade. So in this instance, a short trade that I'll be taking every single day of the week. I love that trade setup. For me, it's a very powerful and strong level. So, you know, that's what I'm saying. I'm not getting ahead of myself. Of course, I understand the long trade down here, but I'm not getting ahead of myself until we see that flipped into support. If it is, oh, perfect. Yeah, we can look towards and fire back up towards $67,000, $68,000, right? But while we are below this level, I think that just requires like a little bit of caution. It's not to say be scared to take longs, no, but it is say, understand that the probabilities, although we've hit support, are still weighted to the downside. Like I would still say they're weighted to the downside. This that we're working on here is nice, but we've not seen a major sign of strength yet. We've seen a lower term time frame sign of strength, and that's with this lower term time frame market structure change. But we've not seen a higher term time frame or medium term time frame sign of strength here, as what we've done is we've just back tested currently the value area low and the big level above us sat there at the point of control at around 63,500. So while this is not flipped into support, I do have to feel that, and again, this is based off of the chart itself, that the pro highest probability would be continuation to the downside. Again, I have an invalidation of where oh, I'm no longer looking for further downside, and that's on a reclaim of the point of control. Again, that doesn't, you know, this is where trading can get fairly complex because that doesn't, if we, if we reclaim this point of control, it doesn't mean we're definitely going to 67,000. Be aware you can still reject at 65,000 value area high, right? The, the trade setup we all know, flip value area loads of support, trade to value area high, we could hit value area high and pull back. But there's obviously several 
different moving parts of this theory that I got. And that is why it's so important every day, well, nearly every hour of the day, right? We've got new data coming in. Well, officially every second of the day, we have new data coming in. We have new order flow to keep our eyes on and monitor. This rally that we've seen at the moment, we've rallied into the weekly VWAP and the previous day VWAP zone. So, you know, we've definitely rallied today, but we are rallying, I emphasize, into some resistance here. So I think this is a little bit of a bad place to be longing right now. You're longing into resistance. Um, you know, that's not such a good idea to be longing into resistance, right? So if you want to get another long, you're going to have to wait for another subsequent pullback. You're going to be looking for that to hold that higher low. But for me, in my perspective here, I am looking for a new low to be made. I would like to see 60,000 taken out. And I do believe that we can waterfall down. So that means like a much bigger drop to the downside. Okay, so bear, bear that in mind. I, I do think there is that, you know, quite strong potential. Uh, let me just see where the overall anchor view up is coming in. So that's coming in at 59,500. So this for me is what I would class as like the must hold support. We've bounced off the local uptrend anchored view up. The overall anchored up, where uptrend view up is coming in at 59,500. So yeah, lose that. And I do think that we can actually set our sights once again back on $47,000. Okay, while we're above this level, well, then that that scenario is not at the forefront of my mind right now because we do have a significant support zone here to deal with. So you can I, I hope that you can understand what I'm, I'm explaining in this video, right? This is my honest analysis that I myself am using for my trade setups. And I have to present it in a way that is simplified. Yes, but. Nevertheless, I do this so it's not confusing, but you do have to have that base understanding of technical analysis because otherwise you could get confused here. And I uh, actually, you probably would get confused if you don't have that base understanding because it is got, it has got some moving parts here. And I want to end with a little bit of a tip for Bitcoin. But before that, I have one other quick announcement for you all. And that is, it is that time of the year again. We do have the World Series of Trading coming up. This is actually this year got a $10 million total prize pool. And this is shared between everybody that joins the team. So I'm going to leave the link down in the description. It's over on uh, Discord, of course. It's over on Twitter. And really simply, this is for the Chart Champions squad. So you can actually come over here, click that link, and you'll be presented with this page. So you can go down to Squad Showdown, search for our team chart champions and you will see us here and you can click on and you know see our team check it out click on join and uh, yeah, then you will be in our World Series of Trading team. Just so you're aware, by the way, uh, this is, of course, a team competition. But that said, even if you are not the best trader, it still helps to join our team. That's because this year there are voting um, there are voting systems. So even if you are not performing the best in your trades, you can actually vote for the team. And that in itself is another way to unlock prize pools. So I really would say uh, everybody watching this, get come over, join the Chart Champions World Series of Trading team get your friends to join the team get everybody possible that you know to come over here and join our world series of trading team it will help us out absolutely the more the merrier and uh you know we've done well in these competitions before and we're looking to do well again of course getting those prize spots is our number one focus and goal so uh yeah the competition starts in around a week but you can register right now today there's actually benefits to registering early as well so yeah, link for this I'll leave in the description. Please come over, check out the team and uh, join it so we can take over the world series of trading and do very well indeed. Uh, so yeah, I am looking forward to this one. As you can see, yeah, starts in around one week, but sign up and join the team today. There's no bad points in that. And you can actually start getting around in some of the giveaways that they're doing and, uh, you know, have a good time with us on that. So yeah, that's a final reminder for the World Series of Trading. Link in the description and the comments down below. Come over and join the team now. What are you waiting for? We're going for that 10 million prize pool. Let's go. Um, and as I said, I will end with a little bit of a tip here. And that is that you... Uh, please understand that the way we trade, the way that we are trading is always level to level. So I am a level to level trader. That means I am not looking for $67,000 while I have a level of the point of control before that. I would only look for, for example, the value area high if we can reclaim this point of control. So I'm going level to level to level. I do not look for $70,000 while I have a level of 63500 I reclaim that level. I look towards my next. I look towards my next. 
I feel that honestly, this is the best way to trade. So it's like, I'm not looking for $47,000 while I got that 59,500 anchored view up to be aware of. So I will only then look towards 57 if we lose 59,500. So you can understand the way, no, I hope you can, the way I'm trading is a level to level game. And that is beneficial because it helps me avoid looking for crazy big pumps and crazy big dumps, but just getting involved in these smaller market moves, which includes high probabilities. I'm waiting for moves down to support of confluence to look for longs. I'm lo looking for moves up to resistance to look for shorts. You will only ever find me looking for longs on drops and short on rises. That avoids me getting FOMO and longing at the highs and, you know, scared and, you know, bearish at the lows and ending up shorting the low before reversal. Level to level trading, is the way to do it. If you want to learn with us, maybe for the World Series of Trading, maybe to join us in our next Chart Champions meetup. We're going to be doing these every single year. And trust me, you'll walk away with the biggest motivation and happiness uh, from these events. You can see some of the comments here. It's, it has honestly been an absolute blast for everybody that come along and joined us. But yeah, more of that if you're interested via chartchampions.com. That's, of course, where you got the live streams. So if you've been missing our streams, you could have got in on the live streams and more of that to come. I do have a live stream tomorrow. Today, we obviously had live trading. I have tomorrow altcoin, dedicated altcoin streams, daily morning update, live trading streams. So it's a big one tomorrow. So if you want to get involved, you know what to do. Head over to chartchampions.com now. You got the whole educational library there, as always, of course. So yeah. Join us over on World Series of Trading. Hope you've had a good day and it's good to be back and uh, on the charts with you once more. So cheers, everybody. Thank you ever so much. And DC Paul, I love you all. Cheers. Thank you.